Darren, first of all, obviously, with the disappointment of the game being off today, is a positive to take from it that now we have an extra day to prepare for what's going to be a big game on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, that, that in a way could be a plus. We've obviously... All the shots game being cancelled as well. You can you can look at it that way and say that is that gives us a sort of equal playing field on on Saturday when we when we travel to all the shot. Obviously disappointed that you know the game has been cancelled, uh, but you know safety of players and all the sort of procedures in place that the, the pitch wasn't playable when the ref looked at it and obviously um, when he'd had an earlier look at it. Apparently, uh, the belief was that it would be okay, but the, the the rain had come back in, and you know, in a way, in a way, although I'm disappointed the game hasn't gone ahead. What I w- what I wouldn't have wanted is is two teams that are in decent form. Mm. Um, two teams, obviously, local rivals, um, and I want it to be a good game. I wanted it to be a, a, a an enjoyable football match where best team comes out on top um, and today if it had gone ahead could have easily have just been a complete disaster of a game because of the conditions and the pitch so listen I, obviously it's disappointed um, both sets of fans and that um, but in particular our own fans obviously we, we apologise the game hasn't gone ahead but we look forward to the Date of the game being brought out, so we can we can build into that, and like you say, it gives us that extra day where we can do just a tiny little bit of work today that will obviously lead into our game on Saturday. Is he looking forward to the game on Saturday? Now we face all the team who picked up a decent win the other day against Stockport County. It's obviously a massive win for them. Certainly not going to be an easy task going there. Say every time, don't I, mate? <laughs> no such thing as an easy game. There, there, there never is. Um, they've obviously on the back of that result a uh, nice big pitch over at Aldershot as well uh, we beat them earlier on in the season so that tends to motivate teams even more to try and get one back but we go there in a good place we go there We go there confident at the minute we look forward to it um, another plus from obviously the, the, the Boreham Wood game being cancelled is it allows one or two that would have been carrying a couple of niggles, um, them extra sort of 24, 48 hours to make a full recovery. So we'll go there confident in what we're doing at the minute and we're in a good place and, and, and the key is staying in that place. Obviously we're scoring a decent amount of goals at the moment. And we haven't really mentioned Simeon Akadoda who's scored a hat for in his last three games. You must be delighted with the form he's in. He's in very good form at the minute. Um, I have a lot of conversations with Simeon. He's quite a deep guy. He wants to talk a lot, which I, which I like. He wants to ask questions. So, you know, we have we have many one-on-one conversations. He wants to improve and get better and listen. Even someone sort of 27, 28 years old, there's always room for improvement. We, we all never stop improving if we want to learn. So what's been nice is some of the things that we've we've discussed and that has been playing out in his in his, in his game and you know he's there's there's no doubt about it at the minute he's a he's a real threat for us him and walker mm. you know forming a nice little partnership working well together mm. sim at the minute is probably getting the headlines through the goals but as a pair they're probably quite difficult to play against at the minute so Hopefully that continues, and certainly with Simeon, hopefully his, his little purple patch in front of the goal continues. How's the rest of the squad shaping up going to? Is there any new news coming into this one? No. No, obviously, uh, Sparksy becomes available again. Efron will become available again for Saturday, um, which gives us uh, one or two, obviously, good players, good attacking options. Um, so that that's really pleasing. We've had we've had them back training with us, and obviously Efron's had the all clear now um, to to start playing again. So they're they're the two real pluses, and obviously by the time that the, this cancel fixture against Bournemouth comes round, I'm I'm hoping that we'll have one or two more available for that game as well.